Hello everyone. Um okay, I saw this video yesterday uploaded by the user of Sam Pepper and basically he goes around and he basically has a design of a sweater and ha shows his hands of hands in a pocket and make it looks like that. And basically he goes around and for he doesn't pinch. He doesn't slap. He full on gropes, like full on gropes, people's, I don't want to say people's, but a woman's butt in the, in the videos. When I saw this video last night, it sent me through over the top. And I got really upset really, really fast. <laughs> now, I'm sure, I've just watched many, many other people's responses. And I know... Well, actually, a lot of them have been getting this, um, have been petitioning off to get this video removed off the internet, and thankfully, a lot of them did. And for all those people who made that video off the internet, I want to say sincerely thank you to every single one of those people who helped take, um, to take the petition, to take, for the petition to get that taken down off the internet. Because I did that too. I went and I signed that petition online I did and um, basically he goes around in the video he goes around and grows women's butts first off that's an, this is just a terrible and horrible and fucking awful video and the more people who talk about this video in this certain light needs to get addressed so people like him and Sam, like Sam Pepper here get discovered and get basically shown for the true identity that they, that they truly represent here on the internet. No, the way he represents this video in a certain way is pretty much like, oh, it, it's a prank, oh, it makes you laugh, so therefore it counts that as no sexual harassment. Yes, it is. It's sexual harassment because you're crossing the line of what you can and cannot do towards a woman proven by the right, proven by the right of law that you shouldn't sexually harass women in public and it goes for women the same thing with women with men it happens to both sides and happens to both genders and i don't think that many people only here on the internet get that there's a few people who truly do understand that that both of the sexual harassment type of thing here happens to both women and men and the way that Sam Pepper shows it and describes it in this video, it's not just vile, it isn't just disgusting, it isn't just horrible, it's, a, it's just terrible. And it represents how terrible Sam Pepper is of a human being because he truly is showing to his fan base and basically to his content, with the, what you know, his typical type of fan base who, to, who would see this. People who enjoy pranks and do me wrong. I love my I love my view of pranks on the internet. I, I watch prank versus prank all the time. But the way this video went wasn't just like how I said before. It wasn't. It was just so repulsing and so vile that he truly showed the over exaggeration of this in a certain way, and it shows in a certain view. That he doesn't take this type of shit seriously. He said, he shows that he doesn't care. Well, I wouldn't say he doesn't care, but it shows that he he's like, oh, oh I'm sorry, it's just a prank or something. It it is it, like, I'm sorry, it's just a prank. Don't worry, it is not a prank. That's sexual harassment dude and it's because of people like you we don't take it that seriously because you try to represent it in a certain light in which way it isn't and it really makes me very upset and very, very furious when someone does it like you because very when it comes to public pranks very special precautions have to do that and you have to do new, and you have to do this stuff Awareingly of the of the laws that your government shows to you, like there's certain laws, and why we why we have these certain laws, and why we have these certain rules in the government in the U.S. and Canada and so on in this certain types of countries in this world, and there's reasons why we have those laws, and for the people who break them, 
they should they should be made uh, an example of which by the way you were of, of which by the way you were of this within of sexual harassment and I am fully aware that sexual harassment happens in a lot of different places not just in public but in very very commonly a lot of work areas too and like I said before people are like Sam Pepper here don't seem to, don't seem to understand that that's a big deal and it truly shows just how incompetent and how arrogant he is and how how much he and it kind of represents that to his fan base that he doesn't give a shit he shows that he's willing to break laws and rules just for viewership well, I wouldn't say just for viewership, because all our videos in here and here are created for viewership. Viewership. But it isn't just terrible, it's flat out wrong. And I am super glad for the people who have gotten the petition on and who, for this video to be taken off, which, by the way, it was thankfully very, very quickly done. And for everyone who signed that, including myself, which I did, like I said, in the earlier video, in the early part of this video, thank you very, very much for every single one of those people who did donate or do or did sign for the petition to get the video off the internet because it worked. And another thing I want to say about this video is that connected to my previous videos, I made here my on my site on my um on my channel here my on my channel here on the site is that I said in one of my previous videos is that. The way you approach and the way you create something truly does show truly shows something about your own character and how much you don't take it either you do or you do not take it seriously and how you approach it in a way. And in this sense it truly shows that he doesn't even care for a fucking law. But you do need to follow in within your own society that exists. And it is even worse that you actually avoided getting caught by authorities that no one called you out on it. And that is horrible. And that's deeply bad. And like how I said before, I'm very, very thankful for all the people who did sign a petition to get the video off the internet. I have nothing more to add than I'm going to say that straight up Sam Pepper is a terrible YouTuber. He needs to get his authorities straight through his freaking thick skull. And above all things, he should at least understand the precautions and the rules of pranks. Because one, one of the most important things about any comedian out there, or any content, or even creator or anything out there, is when you cross that fine line between comedy and being just plain insensitive and very ignorant. And he purely shows the very ignorant side of it. He doesn't care about it. He doesn't give a shit. He broke the law just so he can create a funny video which his stupid fan base would honestly laugh at. And the bumble thing is I am just thankful that this video did get taken down. Cause it did not deserve to be on the internet. And he escaped the crucial punishment he should have deserved. But in the end, his video was taken down, and that's all I want to see. Justice being served to Sam Pepper. Message to Sam Pepper. Sometimes you do break, and sometimes we do need a breaks and things within comedy to, to cross it but you gotta understand the precautions and the rules otherwise you're just showing yourself in a very ignorant stance here and you know what I am thankful for everyone who did sign the petition to get that video taken off the internet And guess what? This is justice being served. And we need to remain strong. Because of idiots like him, 
There is stupidity that will last forever. Thank you for watching, everyone, and I'll see you in the next video, which will be a movie review. Um, and that will be released during within this week. And uh, I just wanted to quit this, <laughs> make this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. And remember, stay strong. See ya.